I'm going to show you how to make this craft flower for this beautiful Maasai sandals. So you are going to need Mako 2 and a soft leather like this. So I put the leather in front and the Mako behind. I measure 2 inches and a half by 7 inches and cut. You will need the sand bead needle and the big needle for sewing. So I'm going to start with this first row. You will pick 10 colors of the orange, blue and white and in between them you put the golden color. So you insert your needle from behind. Then insert it in between two beads and so insert your needle from behind and insert in between two beads and so So that is how you are going to keep sewing. You always insert your needle in between two beads and sew it. Repeat the same to the end. So at the end, you insert your needle back. Then insert the smaller needle, the big needle backward too. And you tie the two. At every end, always make sure that you insert the smaller needle back and you tie it to secure it. Return the needle again to the front and pick your next set of beads so on the second row you pick nine of the orange white and blue and in between them as you can see you put two of the golden color then you keep sewing So you repeat the same thing, sew it to the end. On row 3, you are going to pick 8 of the orange, blue and white. Then you put 3 of the golden color in between as you can see. I've just finished the row 3. On row 4, you return back your needle to the front. On row 4, you are going to pick 6 of the orange, blue and white. And in between them, you put 5 of the golden colors. So 
So you repeat the same thing to the end. So on this row four, for only the orange, I put nine orange in the beginning and seven at the end. The reason is because of the sizes of the beads. They are not all the same. So on row five, I pick seven of the orange, seven of the golden, five of white and four each of the blue. The reason is because the sizes of the beads are not all the same. That is why the numbers differ. But you pick it like that and arrange it. On row 6, I pick 4 white, 3 blue, 6 orange, and 9 of the golden color in between. So after that, you're going to do a complete row of the golden color as you can see it like this. Then another complete row of this red color. Another complete row of this dark blue color. Then you do one more row of the golden color again all through. So we're going to meet after you are done for this side. So we'll make this first side in ascending order, while the other side we're going to make it in descending order. So you're going to repeat row 6 on row 11, row 5 on row 12, row 4 on row 13, row 3 on row 14, row 2 on row 15, and row 1 on row 16. And this is how the back looks like. So we're going to do the top part of the bit. So you are going to cut something like an oval shape. A bit bigger than what you can see there. Because you are going to trim it later on when you are done with making your bit. So you just make it a bit bigger. I put marker by the side and leather in front. So you try to look for the middle of the round shape insert your needle pick two golden beads then you insert the needle backward take it back again and pick three golden beads what we are going to do is a spiral craft flower. So you put the tree and sew using your sewing needle. Pick two blue beads and sew. And pick two orange color beads. Then pick three white beads.
after that you are going to pick another three golden color beads and so so I added two more golden color beads because it has to exceed the first row of the golden color so I put the blue color too you can see that it exceeds the first row with one bit because we are making a spiral so it has to be going round this you can see it exceeded with one and the blue also exceeded with one So you can see that the orange color also exceeded with one. The white also exceeded. So you're going to keep repeating the same thing. When you are putting the color, you make sure it exceeds the last row with one. So that it will give us what we want at the end. So you are going to keep repeating the same thing until you get your desired results. So you can see we have one, two, three, four, five, six here. And here we have six too. You can see. So at the end, when you are done, you insert your needle into the previous row one bit close to the last one in the previous row then insert it backward again then you tie the two tie the two behind to secure it so in my next video I'm going to show you how to turn this beautiful beaded craft flower into these gorgeous Maasai sandals so Please, if you love this tutorial, give me a thumbs up and leave a comment for me in the comment section. Will you try this design out? And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. And thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.